Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a food review video of Milo's in Venetian Casino in Las Vegas. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. So today we are having lunch at Milo's and if you guys want to eat bougie on a budget, I would highly recommend going to Milo's for lunch because their lunch menu for an appetizer, entree, and dessert is going to be $38 per person and it could be a bit more depending on what you choose. So for example, if you choose octopus, then it will cost a little bit more or if you choose the pasta with lobster, there will be you know a little bit of an add-on. just depends on what you choose but minimum is going to be $38 for your lunch menu and I think it's a great price the food is delicious and the portion is pretty big so I do recommend it and this is their regular menu if you decide to not want to do the lunch menu um, I believe lunch ends at 2 p.m. every day and Lunch, I think, is like the greatest deal you can get because if you were to eat dinner and order the same items, it would just cost way more. So I definitely recommend coming here for lunch. It's really good. And if you guys don't know about Milos, they originally had their restaurant at uh, Cosmopolitan Casino. But because the rent was super high at Cosmo, they moved over to Venetian. And I think Venetian is a great spot for this restaurant. Um... I think it's really beautiful and we got some live lobster we have some fish they even have a whole pyramid of tomatoes really fresh tomatoes so for my drink i got a mocktail this is my first time ever getting this kind of drink i usually get a ginger ale this one has lemonade grapefruit and iced tea and also basil and it was a really interesting flavor i will probably get the ginger ale the next time i come back i wasn't a huge fan but it was okay and then they always bring a basket of bread and also olive oil and then this is my dad here so the parents they got the wine pairing but usually i just go for like a ginger ale or some other uh, mocktail so we got this uh, like deep fried vegetable and it's basically eggplant and zucchini they fry it up and there's also the sauce in the middle there is also goat cheese and this is our favorite dish to always get it's really good it is not a part of the lunch menu but we wanted to order it separately because we love it so for my appetizer i got the mezzi plate this one has three different kind of spreads and also the uh, bread and i really love the appetizer so I'm going to try the eggplant and zucchini first and it's super flavorful and really crispy. I love how thinly they cut the vegetables and they fried it up. It's seasoned so so well and I forgot what kind of sauce it is but I will of course put it somewhere on the screen for you guys but I highly recommend getting that appetizer. And then for my appetizer for my lunch meal, like I said, I got this a plate of three different kind of spreads it's delicious and it comes with some vegetables on there as well like cucumbers celery and carrots and radish as well and all three sauces are amazing but i do love the first one that i tried the second one is uh i would say it seems like they kind of blend it with um red peppers but it's not spicy at all, it just kind of has like that flavor. And then the last bread is kind of fishy in a way, but they're all really, really good. And I love the carrot on there. The carrot is super crunchy and it's just a really healthy appetizer. And it really brings you in that Mediterranean Greek um, themed, if that makes sense. And this is the tomato salad. And then for entree, my grandma, she got the lobster and pasta. It's really good. For me, I got the lamb and also some fries. And I just love getting their lamb. Of course, medium rare. It was delicious, super flavorful. It wasn't chewy at all. They cooked it so perfectly. And also their french fries are really soft and like crispy on the outside. So I really like that a lot. And I didn't dip it in like ketchup or anything. It was like already seasoned super well. So honestly, I have nothing bad to say so far. And then for dessert, I got the Greek yogurt and that day was mandarin flavored. I also got chocolate sin, which is a chocolate 
cake with ice cream on top because I really liked it. It is not a part of the lunch menu, but it's my favorite dessert to get there, so I had to get it. So overall, I'm giving Milos a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it. It was amazing. Staff is super nice, and the food was so delicious. I would highly recommend coming here if you guys haven't been. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!